No one's getting past me. Yes, they are, because it's estimated that between 27 and 40% of all undocumented immigrants in America came here on planes. 27 to 40% of the, are people coming on planes? He goes on to say overstaying their visas. Got it. Have you done the math yet? That means at minimum 60% of illegal immigration doesn't occur from planes and visas. Adam Ruins Everything is a show. I've actually really liked Adam Ruins Everything on quite yeah. a few things. I've taken some sort of, I guess, libertarian stances, but generally speaking, it's it's pretty informative. Um, this is one where they were completely wrong. If you're listening to it, it could sound plausible, what he says, but I've got some information here that might just smack you over the head. So let's roll the first clip. La verdad es que la pared no la agarría nada. Building a wall would actually increase the number of illegal immigrants in America. Nope. What? How could it possibly? Here, I'll show you. First off, that is not true. Let me tell you something here, uh, a book that I recommend. It's up on my page, Stolen Sovereignty, How to Stop Unelected Judges from Transforming America, uh, Daniel Horowitz. He talks about illegal immigration quite a bit in a way that is, is very informative and very enlightening. No one's getting past me. Yes, they are, because it's estimated that between 27 and 40% of all undocumented immigrants in America came here on planes. I forgot about planes. And that's just said so flippantly, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, building a wall because 27 to 40% of the, are people coming on planes, he goes on to say overstaying their visas. Got it. Have you done the math yet? That means at minimum 60% of illegal immigration doesn't occur from planes and visas. Some would call that a majority, Up to 73%. At least not planes and visas. So here's the deal. Does it mean that a wall will fix everything? No one's saying that. But if you could have some sort of an effect on, let's use the most conservative figure, 60% of illegal immigration by his own admission, how is that not significant enough to build a wall? Joe Rogan talks about this. If you had a ham sandwich that was 60% crap and 40% ham, you'd probably want do something about the crap. It's still 60% crap. So the, the number there right off the it's bat. It's like most hot dogs. That's the percentage. That's just true. Um, the number right there right off the bat should concern you. It debunks the entire argument. If you believe that even curbing that pesky little 60 to 70% is worthwhile, you don't even need to watch the rest of the video. I do, I assume many of you do. Let's assume you say, you know what? I'll give them 60 to 70%. It would easily be one of the single most expensive pieces of infrastructure in American history, costing as much as 20 Hoover Dams or NASA's entire annual budget. Just an annual budget? So not that Just much. Just one? One annual budget? This is supposed to turn us off? I say we turn NASA off for a year. <laughs> turn NASA off. Just throttle Clock it out. for a year. Like the UN will do with the internet. Yep. Throttle it a little bit and just start putting up the wall. It is unreal. That's not that expensive, particularly when you look at the economic ramifications. Positive ones when you stop illegal immigration. Next clip. Even by your estimate of visa overstays, the wall would still stop about half of America's 11 million illegal immigrants. No, it wouldn't. Because of a little something called circular flow. Here, I'll show you. For decades, immigration to the U.S. was a circular flow. People would come, work for a bit, and then after they were done, go home to their families. That's morally reprehensible. That was never what America was intended to be. It wasn't intended to be a revolving door so people could come in, abuse a system, and leave. You don't come to a country to drain from the country to send to other countries. That's not how a country works. That's not being ethnocentric. That's not being xenophobic. That's called having a country, okay? The revolving door, they talk about people coming in revolving door to work and send back benefits. A, that's not right. You don't get to do that. You move here legally, period, right? We've already covered that. But the revolving door for work is very different from a revolving door for entitlements. Mm -hmm. People are going through the revolving door right now and not paying for health care and not paying taxes and getting all of the social benefits, the benefits from the social safety net from hardworking Americans. That's the It's never supposed to be a revolving door. And it's worse now because a lot of illegal immigrants aren't really coming here to work. Not all of them, but many of them are coming here and they're taking more than they're giving. It's not like working in New York and then living in New Jersey. No, it's a little, no, bit, it's, different. It's a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, next clip. It's counterintuitive, but building a wall wouldn't stop people from coming in. It would actually stop them from going back. 
the number of illegal border crossings is actually at an all-time low. No, that's not true. I have it up right here. Uh, Washington Examiner. Illegal border crossings by children and families are surging again and will put the fiscal year of 2016 on par with 2014. There's a chart for you. Here's why. Listen, at a certain point, of course, immigration is going to start slowing down because Mexico has dumped a, te a tenth. 10% of its population have moved to the United States. So at a certain point, you're going to hit a, a, a critical mass of how many people can leave their crappy country to a better country, the United States. 10%, 12, maybe it'll go back to 8, it'll hover around there. Now, here's why this chart occurred. Um, because of all, actually, the deportations, as they've plummeted, more people have been coming back in. And now we're facing the surge that we had in 2014. So the inverse is true of what they've said. As deportations have plummeted, as Barack Obama tried to act, and really what's happened is people are being treated uh, more humanely, they would, well, there's, now all of a sudden we see this, you can see this sort of like a fat caterpillar in the graph. We have a problem with the illegal immigration again, of course, and the problems that come with that, uh, draining on the system, the problem of the social safety net, of fiscal responsibility. Do we have more clips? Oh my God, Adam, you're right. The wall isn't the answer. Oh, good. I'm so glad I could help. Millions of people are already here. We need to deport them. Yes. Deportation is the answer. No. All right, there you go. Because of course it's it's racist to deport people who've broken the law and mm -hmm. come here illegally. Again, it's it, here's that's that that's that sleight of hand. It starts off with, well, it would only help with uh, maybe half, maybe 60, 73 percent. And so if you just hear that, you, you don't even think about it. You're thinking you heard 10 percent. You go, well, then that's silly. Why would we spend the whole NASA budget to stop 10 percent? No, you're spending actually a very reasonable budget. And we can get Mexico to pay for at least a portion of it if you look at the actual plans and tariffs and what you can do with the transfer of money. Donald Trump isn't completely unrealistic to get them to pay for a portion of it. You can pay for that. It's realistic. And that would deal with 60 to 70 something percent of illegal immigration. But if you don't understand what you're hearing, you go along with them down that logic trail and you follow them with false stat, false stat, false idea, false narrative to the point where deportation is racist. And you get to call Donald Trump or people like us racist, people like me who come from legal immigrants like my mom who learned the language, who pay taxes, who are active contributing citizens. This idea that we don't take in enough legal immigrants, uh, it's, it's just not true. It's not even close. 50% of all immigrants since 1965 have come from uh, Latin America, 29 from Mexico alone. That's not even taking into account people who come here illegally, who overstay visas. More people have come to the United States from Mexico than any other country in our modern history, okay? Over the past 44 years, they have these numbers. 6.65 million people have emigrated legally to the United States compared to the previous record world, uh, world record holder, Italy, 4.5 million. It's not even close. This idea that we don't take enough Mexicans in legally, that it's incredibly hard, more legal people have come to the United States from Mexico by an unbelievable margin. It can be done. It's been done from Mexico more than any other country. And of course, it's been done by plenty of other countries. So building a wall, beefing up the security, well, you have to decide, is it worth it to spend a relatively small amount to stop 60 to 70% of illegal immigration? I don't know. I leave that to you. Hey, Jared's laughing. This video is taken from the full weekly podcast, Louder with Crowder. Subscribe by clicking it. Uh, Jared's laughing because I, he's at, he just got shot. The loss of blood is making him delirious. Who shot him? Guilty.